I want to start, though, with a game that was actually a single game bigger than either of the two console <laughs> launches, Grand Theft Auto V. There was a brief period of time uh, when we got Grand Theft Auto V where I had to play it for the guide, and I, I played just hundreds of hours. You of lived, it, I think. You yeah, lived, I lived in Los Santos. For a while. I did, yeah. and uh, it, it was uh, just before release, and it was a, just the most wonderful time to play that game because I really was expecting smoke to come out of the side of my PS3. I couldn't believe how beautiful it was, how huge the world was, how many things there were to do and find the secrets on top of secrets on top of secrets. I had never... This was the culmination of the childhood dream of what an open world game should be. This was a game that was uh, developed by world-class talent, Rockstar North, who'd just done all the GTAs, which had won each one better than the next, and they had effectively unlimited time, it took five years to get this game out after GTA 4, and they definitely had unlimited money. There were reports that the budget soared north of $250 million, which they made back in uh, half a day, <laughs> <laughs> sold $800 million of revenue in one day, a billion dollars of revenue in three days. Jeez. There are there are very few games where I just wanted to get home and play and like I have to get home and I have to play. And GTA five was one of them in recent years. Like I don't think I've had that feeling in a very long time. I feel like I would have had that and I'm not a GTA fan really. Like I yeah. I appreciate a lot of what they do, but they've never hooked me. The world's never hooked me. The city, the people, all of that stuff. But this one I flew to LA sat in a Hollywood apartment over a weekend with my, with my friend Tom, and we just, like, it was like a college experience. Like, oh, his girlfriend's out of town, I'm gonna go hang <laughs> out, we're gonna get a $300 bottle of whiskey, and we're gonna play Grand Theft Auto V for like 72 hours straight. And they gave us the option to play it the way that we wanted to, whatever that might be. They built a story mode into it that was extensive. I mean, a really long, involved story. Frankly, that part wasn't really my thing, despite the excellent performances. I wasn't crazy yeah. about the story. I wanted to fool around in that world, but because I wanted to fool around, they gave me button codes. This was a game in 2013 <laughs> with button cheat codes where I could unlock all the things I wanted to be able to do. Up, and up, down, down. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. and nobody does that anymore. And they, they, just, they had the confidence to put that in there because they said, you know what? Our game is so much fun. People are going to play it anyway, even if we let them skip all the best stuff. You guys, right. yeah, you guys touched on it. Uh, that the fact that this game, I mean, I think most people think of it now as an Xbox One, PlayStation Four, PC game, but of course, first came out on the 360 and the PS3, and technically, what it pulled off on eight, what what was at the time, eight-year-old 360 huh. hardware and PS3 hardware, astounding. Yeah, I was just astounding. like, wait, why do I need a new one? <laughs> like, I still have this now? Like, this is the optimal experience. Let's, let's just build on this and keep going. I mean, <laughs> even compared to Grand Theft, uh, on a pure technical level, to GTA 4 yeah. from five years prior, it was just leaps and bounds ahead. Mm -hmm. Even compared to level. something like The Last of Us, which is typically touted as you know one of the pinnacle of, of uh, software development for that generation, they managed to make a game that was just as technically impressive at any particular moment, but that was also vast and open world. It was just so big, all those systems working together as well as they did. It was, it was just so smooth and finely tested. It was so obvious that they had taken their time and said, is this fun? Does this work? Is this interesting? It, it was. It was like a. It, frankly, in a lot of ways, it was a clinic on good game design. There are things oh, yeah. about GTA Five that I did not like, but I didn't care about those things because I was so into the parts I loved. It's it's uh, amazing to think, Jared. Back when we did the 2008 episode, which you were you and I were on together about Grand Theft Auto Four, you talked about how just dense GTA Four's Liberty City was. I feel like. With with uh, San Andreas mm -hmm. here in in GTA Five, the you know the entire state, that they took that and applied it to a, a, an exponentially larger landmass. Every little corner of Grand Theft Auto Five feels lived in. From uh, I remember the surprise and delight when I was driving out from leaving the city, going to Blaine County, and I had the talk radio station on. Yep, and it suddenly crackled and changed over. To like the AM, the, the the new signal, like it's a different set You're of in a radio new place. stations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, what? Like, that's not advertised. That's not like a feature. There's that's so much stuff like that that, that like one percent of players might find. Yeah. yeah. And they don't care because they're like, that's cool, right? Yeah. Let's just do that. Well, I I have one other good example of that. Same thing that happened to me was uh, I was bumming around Vinewood, you know, the Hollywood of, of Los Santos, and 
I see a, I see a sort of a tour bus thing, like a shuttle bus. I'm like, huh? And I walk over to it, and I get on it, and it's, it's a guided tour of the stars' homes. Mm -hmm. And so just, I'm just on it, and then it's, it's this tw it's about 20 minutes of VO of just this woman giving a, a tour, and they're just the bus just drives around and goes from big house to big house, and it's just this whole thing that's. They never tell you about. Then it's just it is an Easter egg. Can you imagine being that writer, having to write twenty minutes of nonstop <laughs> tourist dialogue that one percent of the audience might ever hear? That sounds like a dream job to me. I would yeah. love that. Yeah. Yeah. Write all this like weird <laughs> esoteric <laughs> stuff for like the people who care the most. And, this, and it was funny. It was. I mean, it's it's incredible. There are still mysteries in this game that haven't been solved. I mean, people they, they, were, they went so deep on the Easter eggs. You, have, you know, if you went to this one random spot in the ocean, the hatch were lost was down there for some reason, just because it was cool. Sure. And there's, there's a bunch of that. There, that map up on the top of Mount Chiliad, there are still oh, right. people on yeah. Reddit trying to figure out what that means. And they <laughs> find little clues hidden all over the game that tie that together. And some of it's X-Files and, and, uh, and, and just people coming up with theories because they're looking for something. And some of it, it looks like there's actually something too. Like there might still be some mystery embedded in the core of that game waiting to be solved. So we're recording this in February of 2016, and the January NPD sales numbers, the number one game, Grand Theft Auto V. Like, how is that <laughs> possible? Came, this game came out in 2013 in its original uh, iteration on the old consoles. The, the last piece of the GTA yeah. V puzzle, though, we have to talk about Grand Theft Auto Online. Right. Which did not begin awesome. No. But it boy, real bad. It, but it became awesome. You know, guys. Uh, I really liked playing tennis, though. Okay, at the very beginning, I yes. love playing tennis. High five. Play tennis it all the time. Or golf. Yeah. golf. Yeah. Really good golf game. I'm tennis super down with that. I, so occasionally good. a round of darts, even. Yeah. Uh, but, it, uh, it is a capable tennis game yes. inside of Grand Theft Auto V. <laughs> no, but, but GTA O became spectacular. I mean, they have supported this game for free for more than two years. Correct. Um, it, they created a next-gen version of GTA V, and they've built on that, and they've just kept releasing quality free DLC for this thing that, that lets you do all kinds of nifty things. Keep it from getting stale and it Highlighted is by what, Jared? What? The, uh, I, oh Online no. heists, my uh, friend. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Online which, heists. Which we waited so a year for, long. but proved so to be worth it. I mean, Four awesome. player yeah. multi-mission threads yeah. that were eminently replayable, that were uh, funny, that were interesting. There's the bank robbery. There, I mean, there, there's... What, I believe it's four of them or five yeah. of them? Uh, I think four plus the training, little training right. thing, if I remember right. Just an unbelievable uh, thing. That, and I don't, they've set the bar so high. It's how you do free online content right. Oh, it yeah. Really is. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good example of that. So one of the best games of all time. I don't think there's, I think it two, even two years out we can, we can say that. I would. I would say that.